You're watching Second Drill Down, episode number six. I'm Novia Ning, here to guide you through this podcast. Um, last week on the show, I was feeling really sick, so I couldn't do it. So we got Reagan to come in and didn't do it, and he hosts the show very well. Thanks, Reagan, for the awesome job, and welcome to our team. Okay, this week on our show, we have me wrapped up in a blanket, because it's really cold. And we also have um, my face with British drama show Skins, Would You Rather, as well as our awesome What's Up, right now. Oh, yeah. What's up? And today on our show, we have a little bit of local news first off. So if you live in New Zealand, many of you know will know that the truckies had their big trucking trickery, trucking protest as they converged onto, onto CBDs all over the country in protest to the rise in road use charges for large diesel trucks. Okay, so because most of people, most people who work in the city would not be able to get to work, they're advised to stay at home or to get into work early. A lot of people decide to stay at home because, well, who wouldn't? So I think we can thank all the truckies for a three-day weekend. Next story. British heavy metal band Cradle of Filth had a t-shirt banned in New Zealand because of its offensive nature. The shirt is said to be the most offensive shirt ever in existence anywhere. Not really. Okay, it's illegal to possess it, it's illegal to deal with it, it's in any way, sell it, rent it, hire it, or give it away. In fact, in Australia, a 16-year-old was arrested and prosecuted for offensive behaviour just because he was wearing the shirt. That wouldn't have happened if he was wearing my shirt, which says M. <laughs> this M stands for Metro. This M stands for Metro, because I got it in France. See, Metro Paris. And it's awesome. Next story, it's rumored that Heath Ledger is going to win an Oscar for his electrifying performance if he is nominated as the Joker in the Batman blockbuster The Dark Knight. The Sun reports the Joker serves up the most menacing, villainous appearance on screen since Hannibal Lecter and that Heath steals the show. As far as we can tell, this might be the first Oscar awarded to a dead man. Now to iPhone news. As many of you know and have been anticipating, the new release of the iPhone will be coming out next week on July the 11th. It is armed with awesome new 3G and GPS and that's pretty much the only difference because the old iPhones such as this one will also be getting all the new software upgrades. If you don't have one, if you already have one, sorry, don't bother getting a new one because there's not much difference unless you're a really heavy 3G or GPS user. Otherwise, go for it. In most countries, including New Zealand, it will be on contract only, which sucks. Anyway, um, some of, some really, really crazy Apple people no, oh, sorry, some really, really crazy customers are already standing outside Fifth Avenue Apple Store in New York in order to A, break the record, and B, get the iPhone. It's a week, guys. How can you have a week of doing nothing except waiting outside in the line? People have no lives. Okay, Star Camp Auckland is on next weekend, one day after the iPhone release. Explain what it is. Okay, well, Barcam Auckland is basically an opportunity for people who use the internet to come and converge into one place and share the ideas and uses for the internet and all the apps and stuff they've built and show it off to people who also use the internet. It's basically a geek convention. Very, very, very geeky and very awesome. We'll be covering, covering the event with Casey will be on the floor asking attendees questions such as the random what flavour would you be and she'll be, ask, and she'll be directing interesting sounding people to me where I'll interrogate them and ask them what they do and share that awesome information with you lot. Before we end this segment, we'd like to give you some feedback from Alfred's live recording last Friday. The footage and sound is currently being pieced together right now as we speak at, what was the place? Live Centre. Thank you, Live Centre, for editing awesome stuff, such as Malfa's live performance. Um, Ludwig did take some footage, and that's playing the time right now. So I'll just share the footage that takes a 15 second look. for this week's Would You Rather, which is quite sad, 
Come on, guys. We love you, so give us some love back in the form of responses. As, you're my, as a reminder, question this week is, would you rather be famous on YouTube and be a total geek in school, or would you rather be really popular at school and never achieve any fame whatsoever? So remember, if you can't make a video response, then you can always email us, or better yet, you can leave a comment on either YouTube or secondrawdown.com. Remember, our email address is feedback at secondrawdown.com. Get those responses in, because we know you're watching. Okay, so say today is July the 5th. Are we saying just July the 5th? Yeah. Okay, saying today is July the 5th, and someone has set, stood outside the Apple Ice store in New York. Apple, <laughs> Apple store, not Ice store. Anyway, okay, okay. Say it's July the 5th, and someone is standing outside that store, the Apple store in New York, since 12 o'clock today. Um, so that's exactly how many days? Six. Oh, looking, using the awesome calculator on the iPhone. We're calculating that five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seven days. So it's exactly a week times 24 hours. This equals 168 hours. Do you know how many movies you could watch in that time? That's about 84 movies if they are two hours long. Do you know how, do you know how many? Do you know how many minutes that is? Times two equals times 60 equals. That's 100. 10,080 minutes. Do you know how many seconds that is? <laughs> 60, wait, hold on. So I have 604,800 seconds. That's just too much time, people. But in that time, you can probably, um, let's see. Uh, 60 equals, okay, so you have 10,080 minutes to waste. What could you do? <laughs> You could do would you rather and send us in some would you rather things because we have no responses so we want them in right now. So you could do, I don't know, say we, would you rather takes like five minutes to do. <laughs> That's 2016 would you rather responses. Or, so that's, okay, so that, or you could also do, say, say, say it takes you 10 minutes to do a Sudoku. That's 1,008 Sudokus. Oh my goodness, people, or you could just be on your laptop and watch like, um, like, stick and draw down over and over again, <laughs> or, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to say, or you could do all this other stuff, like chat to other people on the line, because that's also good, I guess, because then you can at least network and talk to other people, because they're obviously as crazy as you about the iPhone, or just crazy, because why would you want to be there? and waste so many seconds of your life waiting for an iPhone or they're homeless <laughs> and just like leeching off your tent <laughs> thanks that's Novia and the iPhone <laughs> today's my fave we're checking out TV show Skins for those of you who are unfamiliar with this plotline, it follows a group of British teenagers who typically experience all, all of the sex, drugs and drama of the adolescent years, something sensible Novia has avoided. Because I'm awesome. Okay, anyway, this season starts off six months after we let off with the left off with the main plotline following Tony's recovery from his accident in which he was hit by a bus. That's because you're teenagers slash like young adults, you know, can't really act. It's one of my favourite dramas because it's so dramatic, yet over the top, just like any drama is. I mean, seriously, just with Housewives, how many people can die on that street? Slash get murdered. Or are murderers. Anyway, for those of you who live in New Zealand, you can catch it on Monday, C4, 8.30pm. And if you're not living in New Zealand, that is, then you can also check it out on iTunes. Remember to rate and to subscribe to us on YouTube and iTunes. And remember to give us lots of feedback. Feedback, whoa! Thank you, Novia. <laughs> feedback at stickanddrawdown.com. Comment us, do whatever. If you can't send video responses, just send us emails because we check those too. Not that any of you have been sending any in. <laughs> the inbox is always empty. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, anything else I need to remember? No, I think that's about it. So, I'm Novi Ning, I'll catch you next week. What? I forgot. By the way, if you would like to see more bloopers, then you can go to iTunes and check the feed there, or go to chickendraldown.com.
down because on YouTube they earn you so much time and if you want to sell it with real stuff, which is like blue jersey. Funny but correct. Which is too high to be in the ankle blue jersey. Okay, so that's about it. I'll, I'll say my guest line again. I'm Novi Ning, I'll catch you next week.